Recently, Google updated their search quality radar guidelines. If you didn't know, Google actually employs real humans that will audit search results to make sure that they're the highest quality and most relevant for that specific search query. And Google updated their search quality radar guidelines to include generative AI. So Google has actually now created a definition of what generative AI is. So it's a type of machine learning model that can take what it's learned from the examples it's been provided to create new content, such as text, images, music, blah, 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 and leverage these models to create generative AI content. Generative AI can be a helpful tool for content creation, but like any other tool, it can be misused. So Google is actually now defining what generative AI is. So it notes that spam low quality content and filler content is going to be dinged. So essentially that's not going to be good in the eyes of Google. And Google also notes that if all or nearly all of the main content on a website is auto or AI generated with little to no added value, then raters should apply the lowest rating. So again, this means if a raider is going and reading content on a website, and if a lot of it seems to be just general AI content that has no real value, they will give it a lower rating. Overall, the update emphasizes that brands should continue to focus prioritizing people and the value of the content rather than trying to optimize for algorithms or scale their content using low quality AI tools. I think that this is good news because as I've said previously many, many times in this channel that Google does not hate AI content and AI content will rank. I recently just did a case study, which I'll be releasing to you guys very, very soon, where I was able to take a website from getting around around 6,000 um, monthly search traffic to now getting over 21,000 search traffic per month. And this is all being done using blogs and using AI content. But the way that I generate AI content is aligned with what Google is looking for. We make it very, very valuable and we include other things rather than just written text to make the content a lot better. So I will leave a link for that video once it is out. But getting back to today's video, again, AI content is not necessarily bad. Google doesn't penalize AI generated content per se, but it emphasizes the need for unique, helpful content, focus on user value, AI generated content should provide new perspective solutions or insights that users find valuable. So wouldn't this be great to put into a prompt, right? When writing, create new perspective solutions or insights that users may be finding valuable. Avoid scaled content abuse. The use of AI to create low quality spammy content at scale is a violation of Google's policies. This includes using AI to generate content from scratch or modify existing content from other sources. So again, that means if you're taking an article from, a, you know, spinning an article and just putting it on your website at scale, that's not going to work. High quality AI content is rankable. Google can rank high quality AI content that meets its guidelines. So again, Google is literally saying here that high quality AI content will rank. And I've seen that it definitely does. Imports of human input, even when AI even when using AI, publishers should have editors review and edit the content for flow, readability, and fact checking. I totally agree with this. If you're a website and you want to create valuable content, it doesn't hurt to have yourself or someone else read through the content. Remove all AI indicators. Avoid leaving indicators in the content that it was created by AI, such as phrases like as an AI language model or references to a cutoff date. So again, another great thing you can include within your prompt and EAAT still matters. Google still emphasizes the importance of expertise, experience, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness in evaluating, in evaluating content, regardless of how it was created. So that is saying that you still need to work on your authoritativeness of your website, and that is directly related to your backlinks. So I definitely recommend continue to grow your backlinks, not just write your content. Content is easy to come by. Anyone can create content, especially good content these days, but it's harder to get backlinks. So think about how you can put more focus on your backlink strategy to increase your on-page um, SEO scores, to increase your domain authority. And I think alongside with a high quality AI content strategy, you can definitely start ranking on Google. I have done so. Let me show you guys very, very quickly. This is the website that I've been working on. Past 30 days, we can see 29,000 active users, almost a thousand users per day on this website. Absolutely insane. And it's all AI rating content. I'll show you my secret tool that I've been using. I was trying my best to find a tool to use, but either the tools are too expensive or they just didn't get me what I wanted. So I went ahead and created my own tool. 
you can use your own API key with Open Router and even Gemini. That means you can generate completely free content using Gemini because Gemini is free as of now. And it allows you to create content very, very quickly, very, very easily. You can include HTML elements. You can also include your sitemap. So it would include internal links and the content is already optimized for SEO. And again, we're including interactive HTML elements, which allow the content to be much more, you know, than just low quality stuff. It's much more high quality because again, you get a custom HTML element. So if I open up any of these blog posts, most of them have a interactive HTML element baked into the actual article. And this is what it looks like. So this is what takes your article from a low quality content to high quality content that Google loves. So again, here's another article in which I created. I even generated these images using AI, my image generation tool as well. And I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video. But this is an example of what a HTML element will look like. You'll have some inputs and then it will actually give you a output that is custom. And this is what's really, really good. And that's what Google loves to rank. And I've seen it time after time that Google will rank those types of content. So in general, AI content still ranks, but you need to write really high quality AI content. And you need to focus on building your domain authority, focus on building your authority in different places other than just strictly on Google focus on your social um, score, which means posting your content on different places, focus on getting backlinks and focus on being an actual brand and an expert within your niche. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Take care.